After listening to Hogwarts Lacey, Overture to the Unwritten, I feel like I've emotionally experienced my own unwritten Hogwarts Lacey journey without having touched a controller or hearing a word of dialogue. The music in Hogwarts Lacey is perfect. Yo, this is your boy James over Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. And here's my reaction to the Overture to the Unwritten. The Overture to the Unwritten music video features five minutes of Hogwarts Legacy in-game original score, performed live by the Seven Springs Symphony Orchestra and Choir, directed by Eric Martin, aka EQ, marketing manager over at Avalanche Software, and Andrew Corum capturing the in-game footage. The music begins with a somber tone with footage of Hogwarts at night in snowy weather. The somber tone feels like the dark mystery will be unraveling or even will we survive at the start of our journey. Quickly transitioning to a feeling of curiosity and intrigue, experiencing Hogwarts for the first time as a fifth year. showcasing the whimsy and wonder of Hogwarts in the 1890s, cinematically and of course, musically. The music starts to pick up here, giving us a variety of sounds as it musically reveals what life at Hogwarts will be like. The corridors, columns, and classmates we'll run into during our fifth year. I feel like this section is us taking class with Professor Sharp and failing miserably, or even trying to stay awake in Professor Ben's History of Magic. As we see some in-game footage of Hogsmeade, you start to get a taste of the Wizarding World in Hogwarts Legacy particularly Hogsmeade with Hengist of Woodcroft, the founder of Hogsmeade, and of course, Honeydukes front and center. Yo, chills right here. We're jumping right into the adventure we'll be experiencing outside the Hogwarts grounds and Hogwarts legacy. drastically increasing in sound, scale, and danger, mirroring the dark and mysterious aspect of our adventure and journey. Here's my favorite part, diving right into the magicalness of Hogwarts Legacy, particularly our ancient magic ability. Represented perfectly by this piece of the score and footage captured so beautifully by Andrew.
as we begin to close, the score tones down the music, transitioning to a sadness I was not expecting, making me feel as if I'm pondering my decisions, as if our in-game decisions have consequences that not only affect us, but the people and world around us. Something has happened because of said choice. Knowing that the story of Hogwarts Legacy will drive the game, this music is a perfect complement to the powerful storytelling world experience in game. Again, I feel like I've just emotionally experienced my unwritten Hogwarts Legacy journey without having touched a controller or hearing a word of dialogue. This music is perfect. And honestly, that is what was so amazing about the Harry Potter films and even so here with the Hogwarts Legacy score. You can listen to Overture to the Unwritten on Spotify and Apple Music now. And be sure to check out the making of the music link in the description below. Be sure to join us live on Wizarding Wednesday as we break down this video, the behind the scenes video, and all the exclusive content shown this weekend during CCXP. I hope you guys have a great magical day. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.